Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Thursday, April the 9th. This is Barry Fear with you in the studio today. And on our last program before Easter, we're going to be talking about the marvelous pear and apple pie that we cooked yesterday. And joining me in the studio now, here's Oscar. Good morning to you. Welcome. Thanks for joining me in the studio this morning. Thank you for having me, Barry. Good morning, everyone. And uh, yes, as Barry said, we made lovely apple and pear pies, which turned out fantastic. And the secret to making a pear and apple pie, guys, you had to make sure that your fruit is fresh before you eat it or cook with it. Here's my upside and now for his opening segments on having fresh good fruit. Barry is saying you need to have fresh fruit to make it taste as sweet as with those new apple pies. So making your own pastry guys it's good so you don't have to waste your money on going to the store. Here's my offside. That's right, you make your own pastry, you also know what ingredients are in the whole thing, so it makes it a lot healthier and fresher. <laughs> and I had some for dessert last night. Beautiful. Also last night, um, I had some spaghetti bolognese. Well, pasta bolognese, and that was good too. I spoke about that last night on the Wednesday, so you can download and watch that. Now on to the social distancing rules, and not going away over this Easter on weekend, we know that it's coming up to Worcester and, and you've had holidays organised and weekends away, but guys, unfortunately, um, it's not safe to travel anywhere over this time. Here's my offside. Yes, it's very sad. It's not safe only because some of those regional towns you may be visiting might be hit very bad with this current disease or virus and uh, all if everyone in Sydney went out to the regional towns they could put more pressure and um, uh, contract more of this spreading happening so we want you all to stay home. We know it's frustrating, we know it's bo uh, absolutely boring but guys it's for your own safety and for your own health. So our advice that we'd like to give to you on our last, our last program before Easter is stay home. Please stay home. Have some strategies in place like some cooking or some board games or painting, drawing, whatever. Here's my offside. Barry said you can do many activities at home. I know it will be a bit frustrating and boring. Um, but if we all rebut, abide by the rules, hopefully we'll be able to do what we wanted to do uh, in the near future. So we know the coronavirus, guys, and you're sick of hearing about it, but the good news is Hopefully the club will be dropping significantly, uh, in, dropping even further. So hopefully the restrictions will be lifted. We don't know when, so please hang in there. Here's my offside. Yes, I'll just say, obviously, Richard and Barry saying as well that. Hopefully the uh, the curve will be dropped significantly and then we can all go back to our daily lives of getting outdoors, going to the shops or going away. But in the meantime guys, 
I'm gonna say this again. Be patient, be vigilant, and show each other other that you can be there for them. Here's my offside. Very well spoken, Darius. Just be there for one another and support one another during this obviously very strange and difficult time. So we know that it's upsetting that you had to pull the plug on many events such as the Easter Show this year, the Tokyo Olympics, um, the tennis championships over in London. Okay, many things have been postponed due to this. Here's my offside. Yes, as Barry said, that that shows how a serious this this virus is. That all those major events, which usually would never get cancelled, other than a big catastrophe happening, have been cancelled. So it shows just how serious it is, um, and we need to take it seriously. And the echo in August has been cancelled too. Um, the echo is held at the RNA. Showgrounds in Brisbane, opposite the Royal Brisbane Hospital where I was born. So, so guys, we know that you are looking forward to the Easter show and the Easter show in August. But guys, not a good time uh, to be holding those events. In my offside. Yes, as Barry said, the, the famous Echo Show had been cancelled as well. It's only been cancelled in for three years. Uh, out of the 150 years of running the show, it's only been cancelled three times, but you can see how serious this is. So hopefully next year, guys, um, the Easter Show will be back bigger, brighter and better. And hopefully the Tokyo Olympics will happen as well and all when all of this is gone gone gone. So um, right now guys the only message that my offsider and I would like to bring to you on this special edition of the show is please be in this together, support your friends, support your neighbours, talk to them on Skype. Keep my offside. Yes, it's very, so it's a very hard time. You can't socialise with your friends and other close, closer out of the family relatives. So the only way to do this, as Barry mentioned before, is to keep your social distances and um, just if they can, obviously talk to them via the uh, webcam or, or Skype. And even emailing your friends as well. Uh, because, guys, I have said this a number of times on the shows that I have brought to you. And this is an important message. If I don't get this message out to you now while this is all happening, Somebody is going to get stupid and flout the rules like they did last weekend, which was very inconsiderate and stupid. And here's my offside. Yes, as Barry is saying, we don't want to see a repeat of thousands or far, hundreds of people out in a public area close together, um, socialising in groups. That is just being the purpose of what we're trying to achieve. And also, also as Barry mentioned, there's very big fines if you, if you don't comply. So $1,100, guys, is what you will cop because if you break the rules, guys, you know where you'll be going. If you've seen this show, Prisoner, You'll be going in the cells, not outside of the cells. Here's my offside. Yes, as Barry is saying, if, 
if you've broken the rules multiple times and you've been warned multiple times and you could face uh, some serious jail time over something very easy to avoid. Isn't that right? So to avoid, so to avoid getting a one thousand one hundred dollar fine, guys. This is the long weekend. Please stay off the road. Stay home. Occupy your mind with some board games. Uh, please don't be an absolute fool and have the cops knock on the door. Here's my outsider. This is Barry said, just keep off the roads if you can and only go out for essential items and, and essential things that you need. Even, even going for a drive for no reason, please just stay off the road. And our mini bus is off the road as well. Here's my outsider. This is Barry said, the, the bus we have here uh, for outings and those sort of things has been off the road for quite some time now because uh, we've complied with the rules. I'm sure Barry would like to go for a drive somewhere, but that's out of the question because it's not essential trip. Because the last thing we want to have happen, guys, the police are issuing our, our, crew, our crew members with a $1,100 fine and a loss of the job and six months in jail. Here's my offside. Yes, as Barry said, we don't want that to happen either. And also the passengers may get a fine as well. And we don't have that sort of money lying around. So for my sake and your sake, Stay home, grab a packet of hot cross buns tomorrow, and cook yourself something, go and get some ingredients, and have some fun with some board games. And it is my offsider. You very mentioned before, yes, you can go to the shops for essential items. Cross buns, hot cross buns is still considered shopping for food items, so that's fine. Go have, go get some hot cross buns, have some family time at home, um, and play some board games and just enjoy the time together while you can. We know it's very frustrating and normally we would be at Tim Times Cat now, but this has been close for the first time that I've been there in my offside. Yes, as Barry said, we would normally be at our, uh, our community access services at the moment, but that's been closed, so we've been able to uh, make the most of our time at home. And hopefully it won't be too long before I can say we are now on the way back to our services back. We don't know when that will be yet. Hopefully it won't be six months. So we will keep you updated. And let's end on a positive note now on the show. Um, around this time, um, we will be getting ready for Easter and remembering the death of Jesus is my oxide. Yes, Barry said it, it is a time where we do remember Jesus and uh, get ready for, for the young children for the Easter Bunny to come round on Sunday. Yep, so there's a bit of good news for you kids out there. Have some Easter eggs and hot cross buns. And just remember, guys, okay, we'd like to leave you with this message. And um, please be there for one another, support one another, talk to someone if you're upset or getting frustrated. Here's my outsider. Yes, as Barry said, it's, it's very important this time. 
that we are going to be a bit more frustrated, we have to stay inside. You talk to one another and you talk to people if you are feeling a bit down or have any mental health issues as well. And the number you can ring is one three double one one four. That's for my line. Um, write that number down, and you can ring that number any time, twenty four hours a day, and they will help you with solutions. Here's my offside. This is very, it's a very important number if you are feeling very frustrated and down and you're feeling you need some help, there's always a number to call. Well, to close our last program before I start, I'd like to take the opportunity of wishing you and your family and your loved one a happy Easter. We know it won't be exciting as the ones that we've had where we've gone to services and remembered Jesus and had some time at the beach, but hopefully next Tuesday we'll be uh, out and about again doing all those fun things. And don't forget, just a reminder, um, Anzac Day is coming up, so we'll be talking about that as well. But, but in the meantime, for myself and Oscar, we wish you a very happy day. Uh, don't get too upset or frustrated and ring the number that I just gave you. One three double one one four. That number again is one three double one one four. And the number that we rely on twenty four hours a day, triple zero. Please do not ring that number unless you have to leave that number alone. Uh, we we know we know that you may need that number one day, but guys, keep triple O calls to a minimum. Here's my offside and with his closing message on this. Harry said we hope all hope have a lovely long weekend, even though we'll be inside. Um, and uh, the number is always there if you need it, and also keeping the uh, emergency services number free for emergencies only. And uh, um, ring that number, guys, if you really desperately have to. Don't be an idiot with that number. And on that note, it is time to say good morning to you viewers now. Thanks for joining us on our last program before Easter. Have a great Easter, everybody. You take care, and I give my offsider to say his farewell now. Have a great Easter, everyone, and we'll be back before you now. And we'll be back um, on Tuesday with a nut to. Um, with another great short week of fun, we've got a cooking program starting on the 20th of April, and Oscar will be here, so join us for that. Here he is to tell you about it. Yes, everyone will be doing a cooking program on the 20th of April, because that's uh, just after the public holiday. And we'll have more people and more staff to help us um, hopefully bring a show to you guys. What do you think, Barrett? Yeah, and we look forward to your company then, but that's it for the 9th of April, nearly, 10, nearly um, 25 to 11 again. That's it. And Stephen, if you are watching, Good luck in your new role, mate. 
I'm Adam Circle. We thank you for being such a wonderful person. And from me, Stephen, good luck. And, and we'll see you on, around, around the tracks. Welcome to our new manager starting next week. But from us now, have a lovely day. And we'll see you next time around with Barry and Oscar. Here, here he is to say his farewell now. We'll see you all next week, guys. Have a good long weekend. And remember, we are all in this together. Have a great day, everyone, and a great Easter. From us now, have a great day. See you later, and bye-bye. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.